G'day, g'day folks. It's Chris Gabagoblonski here, your best mate in the car business. And we're going live on a 24 hour live-a-thon for our dearest friend, Michelle. Jonathan says I'm live. So wait for a few people to start dropping in here. Ah, we got four in already. G'day, Chad Morgan. G'day, Glenn Lundy. I've got no music, mate. I'm not up to speed. I'd like to um, get everyone up and dancing. G'day, Marion. Thanks for joining in. G'day, Chad. All right, we've got a few people dropping in here now. I just want to um, let you know, first of all, that I'm a part of a 24-hour live-a-thon. First time that it's ever been done. Uh, there's 48 people doing half an hour segments live on their Facebook feed to raise awareness. We're trying to raise prayers, um, shares and, and cash for um, our friend in the auto community, Michelle. Uh, Michelle uh, is a, such a sweet, kind, um, caring person and it's touched us all in such a short amount of time. We've, um, everyone's got to know her and uh, what we're doing, mate, she's been diagnosed with um, third stage breast cancer. So it's a very aggressive cancer um, and we are supporting her as she fights to kick its butt. Um, thanks everyone for chopping in, Ricardo, The Beard, and Salesman, um, Shani, all my friends um, in Australia, thanks for joining in. I'm doing a half an hour live-a-thon to raise money and awareness and um, to help our good friend Michelle uh, through her troubled time. So she's over in the States and um, yeah, it's, this thing has gone massive. We tried to raise $10,000 which um, we had to raise seven and a half thousand dollars in the first two and a half hours. So they've raised it up to 50,000. Uh, thanks everyone for joining in. It's nice to see 18 people on here. And I know over in the States, they're, they're up. A lot of them have been up all through the night. It's five o'clock in the States, uh, seven o'clock here. And uh, first of all, I, I just want to jump on. The, the reason I'm here, um, it's come down to um, Sean Hayes, and, um, and Dave Benson. Dave, Dave uh, found Sean Hayes, uh, the uh, American car salesman that was on a mission to change the auto industry. Uh, he, he started out um, doing videos. He wanted to do it as a bit of a, um, a challenge to himself and see what could come of it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start tonight by just talking about uh, how I got introduced to um, the car sales um, Facebook group. It's called Aussie Sales Hustlers and where it evolved from there and how I met uh, Michelle over in the States and uh, how it's changed my lives, but not only my life, but a lot of people's lives. And it's all about the auto industry and getting together and changing the industry for the better. So we've got so many um, great people that are sharing and liking and, and just helping other people grow. It's something that I'm passionate about, um, you know, resonated with me, what I try and achieve when, with my customers being a salesman as well. And, and we're trying to bring it into Australia. I'm really trying hard for the Aussies to help each other grow and just to get a better name in the industry. So with that said, g'day Dave Benson, thanks for jumping on and Matthew Bowditch, uh, appreciate it guys. Hope you can listen to me. I'm just gonna share my journey how it all started uh, back in October last year. Um, I was shown a, shared a link from Dave Benson. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Um, and, and it was um, Dave that teamed up with Sean Hayes, who was just motivating people. And uh, yeah, his message was just how to, how to do the job better. And it wasn't only just about car salesmen, it, you know, it was more about becoming a better person just to be the best you are. And, and Dave always talks about reaching your full potential. And yeah, it's, it's amazing where it's all going and, and how my journey's gone as well through it all. Uh, I know back in October, it was great listening to, to Sean's videos every morning. He started to motivate and inspire me and, and they had a little bit of a, a gathering in Orlando and um, they started a, a little inner circle for people that wanted more and uh, you know, more training and just uh, to, you know, go off each other and learn and grow and become better. And uh, yeah, I was lucky enough in 
and in January, the start of the year, I won a trip by doing a video and it wasn't something I was comfortable with, jumping on and doing a video. Uh, did a video and won a trip over to America. G'day, Jonathan Merton, thanks for jumping on, buddy. Uh, yeah, and, and um, I think at the time, you know, I'd, I'd started 2018 with um, a drive, a bit of motivation to be more committed and to, to become a better person. I wasn't, I wasn't by any means um, a very good person, it feels like, you know. I'm pushing and pushing now and I'm looking back again, the old me wouldn't have been able to come. I've come into work tonight to do this so I'm not around my little fella who just woke up and all the kids to get a bit of quiet time. Um, and, uh, and I'm sober, I've been sober all month and uh, it's all because of the group and uh, it's amazing what we're doing right now for Michelle um, doing a 24-hour live feed. So, uh, unfortunately for the, a lot of the folks in the States, they're, um, they're just, uh, you know, been up all night um, and it's late here in Australia. So thanks for jumping on, Bobby. Uh, Lisa Copeland there, she's just put in the, the, um, the website there. So what we're doing, we're starting a GoFundMe page so you can jump on here and please, um, if you can, support. You know, I don't mind if you give $5, $10, Whatever it takes, we're going to raise money to help Michelle. She's, um, yeah, in, in America, the, the, um, the whole hospital, the medical treatment's a little bit different to here in Australia. And it sounds like if you've got your own business, it's really hard to get any sort of medical insurance. Um, and unfortunately, when something like this goes wrong, there's no help there. There's no support so uh, what we're doing as a, as a community is, is all giving you know, our love, support and um, some financial stability so she can have the treatment that it takes. She's got the willpower and with everyone behind her, we've gonna, we're going to be able to help her kick this thing in the butt. You know, and, I, and I wish it for anybody. You know, it's a horrible thing. Um, it hasn't really affected my family too much, but... Um, I can only imagine the people that are going through any sort of cancer or trouble in their life, to have the support around them is amazing. So it just blows me away what the auto community is doing for Michelle. It's just wonderful. Um, so to take you back, um, 2018, I've started com committed to being committed is, uh, was my motto. And, and listening to Sean, um, I wasn't going all in, full in, um, and... And then I started to listen and listening uh, a little bit there to Rise and Grind when that started. And good morning, Josh. Um, anyone who doesn't know Glenn Lundy, he uh, he's a, a guy in the states that is a general sales manager, or yeah, he's the um, for the second largest, soon to become the largest by the sound of it, car dealership over there, who's gone from four. You know, I'm not sure exactly how many he used to do a month the dealership. Uh, whether it was 200 or, or 400, but they've gone up and they can maximise at a 1,000 cars a month. And uh, that's all through uh, just having a great culture at their dealership. And, and he's all about eradicating the negative stigma associated with... <laughs> thank you, Jonathan. Uh, with the car sales industry. And they've just got uh, Josh Cummins, Dusty Cummins. There's a couple of blokes there running the show at um, Dan Cummins that uh, get on there and uh, they get involved and they lead by example. They're servant leaders and, uh, you know, it's nothing that I've seen before and a lot of people haven't seen it. And this is how they're improving the whole culture and, and uh, car sales industry over in the States. And I just want it to come to Australia and be the same. Um, you've got Sean Hayes now who's teamed up with them. Um, they've got a super sales team there with Luke Holland and... And a lot of um, a lot of people that are in our inner circle members that are, have gone there just to um, to strive to be the best they can be, and uh, and you know Glenn has a rise and grind show at five thirty every morning except uh, except on Sundays, so he will be on after me in about uh, twenty minutes. So if you can go to if you can go to Glenn Lundy um and watch his uh, half an hour episode it'll blow you away he's got music he's uh he's on there every morning so even if you can join his group hashtag rise and grind get on there uh it's very powerful stuff 
Uh, he's just inspiring people to become the best they can be. And it's not just car salesmen. It's, he's got the whole community involved and um, it, he, it's brilliant what he's doing. So if you can jump onto him as soon as we're finished, uh, Glenn Lundy, G-L-E-N-N-L-U-N-D-Y, and, and watch him because you'll get so much out of it. Um, if you can, anyone watching on here, I know there's a lot of people in Australia that may not know Michelle. Uh, I was lucky enough to uh, go over to the States a couple of months back now to a, um, a two-day auto conference uh, the Sales Hustlers put on. Uh, sorry, it was an auto rockstar conference and we had a little house where we all got together and, and meet each other. And I got to meet Michelle and, and Chad. Chad Morgan has got a quick page. Um, it's to be able to send video to your customers and it can work in a lot of people's uh, business and it's just a, a nice quick way to keep in touch with people and to follow up your customers. Uh, Michelle does a lot of the work with him uh, as a partnership and they were both over there and they're genuinely nice people. You know, I was lucky enough to jump out of a the conference one day and share an Uber with these two and John Connolly and we went uh, via the supermarket over there and went shopping and and these guys eat healthy they're um you know they're very uh, conscious about their their um bodies and how um their minds so they're very you know mentally they're very fit uh people and uh, and so genuine and caring i know since then i've just seen so much um that michelle puts into the group and she's so supportive in her messages Hey Rusty, thanks for watching mate. Um, g'day Megan. Yeah, so this is all about raising money, um, shares and prayers for, for Michelle, who's um, just been diagnosed a few days ago with stage three breast cancer and we wanna, um, doing a 24 hour live-a-thon and uh, we've got people all around the world that are jumping on, helping out. So if you can go to the GoFundMe page, um, check it out. It's going to be attached here somewhere and, um, and, and donate some of your money to help her out because over in the States it's just a, it's really hard um, if you're in business to be able to get your life insurance and, um, and when something like this happens uh, you really need the support of your family and friends and it's great to see that everyone's getting behind her and helping out. Uh, yeah, we've got... Um, most people in the States, but Dave Benson, who lives in Indonesia, he's jumped on here. We've got an Aussie on here now. So um, so thanks to everyone in the States. Thanks for everyone in the group. That's, uh, you know, thank you, Glenn, for inviting me on to do the half an hour episode. Um, thanks for joining in, James. Uh, you know, it's, it's a privilege to be able to jump on my Facebook page for half an hour. You know, I've come so far in, the la in this year uh, I never would have jumped on camera and spoken to people. So it's pretty weird when you're talking to a, a screen, you can see yourself and nobody's talking back to you. But when you go live, you've got nice little uh, comments there that you can read and people are watching and you can tap and wave to them. And um, it's been great. But um, I just want to give a big shout out to the whole auto community. Um, you know, to be a part of that, it's changed my life. Hey, JT. Uh, yeah, so we've started a little Facebook group. They've um, started up in, in Australia, a little Aussie sales hustlers group. Um, try and get on there as much as we can to give each other support. Uh, and, you know, if we can do something similar to this, it's just, it's amazing um, what great support. And uh, we're shoot, we shoot for 10,000 and we're nearly there, you know, in the first couple of hours. So we've made it bigger. The goal's 50,000 now. But um, don't let that put you off. I love you guys. You know, even if you don't know Michelle um, personally, um, do it for me. Do it for a better community, a better environment, a better world. Because the power of social media is amazing. How it can bring you know people in far, far away places together. Um, you know, I've got so many friends over in the states there. So anyone that's stayed up or or is up now early in the morning, I just want to say g'day. I uh, hope you guys have a, a great day and anyone in Australia listening, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, it's very important uh, that we're doing this and it's, it's amazing. Um, I don't think they've ever done anything like a live -a where people have jumped on for 24 hours to raise money, awareness and prayers uh, 
for somebody, you know, so the order community and to be a part of what they're doing is, is something special to me. Uh, and, you know, today's the 29th of J July. And uh, one thing from listening to Sean Hayes and uh, Glenn Lundy, uh, you know, is to be the best you can be. You've got to, you can't, you've got to go all in. And that's what I've finally done. You know, I started going to the gym at the start of the year and I was trying to keep consistent. And now, uh, good morning, Scotty Simons. That's it, guys. Go to www.fightwithmichelle.com. Check out her story. Uh, you know, she's, uh, she, bears, she bears her whole story. And uh, she's an amazing woman. It's, a, it's amazing to see the, you know, going through such a tough time. You can see the raw emotions, and she's so positive still. Um, what you can do, James, is there's a GoFundMe page set up for Michelle, and we're all trying to raise money. Now, as part of the dealership here, We've got um, G'day Jeffrey. Jeffrey Lee Parton has asked all the salesmen to put towards five dollars towards uh, any sale that they get for the for the month, and I, I'm in. Um, and I'd love to try and get the support of the dealership to at least match that. Um, would be would be great if we can all do something to help out a fellow member in the auto community. Um, even even being in another state, we've. Um, it's another country, sorry. Oh, it's crazy, isn't it? Um, if we can only get that sort of feel and spirit into Australia, uh, we'll be kicking goals for sure. That'll be, it'll be massive. And there's a, already 10% of the, uh, the 8,000 strong members are Australians anyway. So it's nice that we've got a bit of influence in there. Uh, it's a little bit tricky with the time zones, uh, but it is, it's great to be a part of it all. So if you've just jumped on or you're joining me, uh, we're doing a half an hour session here live on my Facebook page so we can, um, it's, it's uh, to raise awareness for Michelle who's our friend in the auto community who's got stage 3 uh, breast cancer which is very um, severe a cancer that she's going through and needs all the support and love she can get and uh, we're here to just donate a little bit. If everyone donates that little bit of money we can make a big change and and take off a little bit of pressure in her life and the stress that goes with it. Um, Shell's got three teenagers at the moment, um, so you know she needs to fight this thing. She's got to be around for them, and I can only imagine, um, you know, anything going wrong with my partner or myself or, or someone that you love and care about. So please jump on there, and um, you know, even if you guys have already donated, um, I'm sure you kept a little bit in reserve to go again. All right, I don't mind if it's five, ten dollars. Hey, Cassie, thanks for joining, joining us, mate. Um, you'll be well aware it's um, you know the struggles that someone can go through uh, when they're diagnosed with uh, such a, a disease like cancer. And uh, what we're doing is raising awareness and uh, set up a GoFundMe page for Michelle, who lives over in the states, um, who's um, just a genuine person, and we're we're trying to raise money for her. So jump on there, guys. Um, yeah, and the rest are uh, about my month. So I've gone dry, dry for July. And uh, g'day, Brianna. Thanks again. Um, I'll get to you in a sec. And uh, uh, that was the one thing that was holding me back. So, you know, I'm getting better each and every day, each and every week, and each and every month to become a better person. And um, father, uh, partner, uh, son, you know, you name it, work, co you know, work colleague. I'm, I'm working and striving to become the best I can be. Uh, this group has helped me so much. I, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I wouldn't have gone dry in July. Um, not only that, I've, I've set my goals high and, uh, and that's probably something that the whole inner circle that I, I've been a part of, um, you know, we've, we've pushed ourselves with challenges out there. These guys, Dave and Sean, they keep putting on massive big challenges. So. You, You've got to really step out of your comfort zone and, and put in so much effort. Um, and, you know, I was lucky enough to have Brianna, who's just jumped on here. Brianna's a lovely girl that works at reception here at the dealership. Uh, she loves my kids and, uh, and she came out and looked after the kids for a few hours last night while I went on a date night. You know, I hear um, Sean and Dave, and they all talk about going on date nights. And when you've got a family, with so many young kids, you, you know, whole life sort of 
changes once you have those kids and you know we've just well my partner for she's just so amazing Mel if you're listening she's um she's just there for the kids she you know she doesn't spoil herself she doesn't really treat herself too much it's it all goes into the family the kids and uh and I'm so lucky to be in that position to have someone looking after my kids like she does and uh I was lucky enough to take her out and treat her out for a night out uh we went to a restaurant here in town uh it was awesome and it's something that uh you know, we spoke about this morning and said, wouldn't it be nice if we can do that once a, a month? Uh, but yeah, we had, the kids just had a ball. They made, um, they made pizzas with Brianna and, uh, and probably bugged her all night long. But uh, that was great and appreciate it so much, Brianna, coming over and doing that. And uh, yeah, we've got Linton there jumping on. Uh, he's a, thank you very much, Marianne, for, for throwing that up there. Uh, yeah, and Jeffrey's, um, Jeffrey's just saying there he remembers the first video I did, which was uh, yeah pretty raw. <laughs> uh, it's so daunting, you know, jumping on the camera for the first time. Uh, you know, when you you look at yourself or you hear yourself and you you pick yourself apart, but you really just got to you've got to do it. And and one thing that Sean and I said that uh, I think of if somebody sees you in real life or talks to you, that's how you are anyway. So. What have you got to worry about, you know? Um, probably a big thing for me was I was at school and I was this skinny little athlete and uh, now anyone that knows me, sees me and just goes, wow, look how big you are, you know? And I'm, you know, I see the doctor and he's like, you're grossly obese. So, you know, I'm, I'm on this little mission now to uh, drop 30 kilos by Christmas. So it's only one kilo a week and I am definitely on track, but I find myself... Um, all I've done is cut out the alcohol, which was a big part of my weekends. And right now in Australia, it's Sunday, and I would have had a skinful. Um, so we got uh, Glenn Lundy coming up on in six minutes' time, guys. So we have six minutes to go, um, and I'll finish. I'll finish off, and uh, and hopefully everyone can jump on and, and check out Glenn Lundy. Uh, he'll yeah, he's got music going, and he's got all the skills there. He's um, He's been working away and a great, uh, inspiring bloke to, um, you know, he's uh, changed a lot of people's lives. You know, he's um, so motivational and uh, encouraging and they've got a great little group there that uh, is there to support each other. And uh, when, when you know, we found out a couple of days ago that Michelle had um, been diagnosed with stage 3 breast cancer, we just, um, I could... I they just like, what can we do? You know, everyone's like, what can we do to help her? And uh, and and Sean did a video. Uh, he took over the Rise and Grind uh, episode and he did a video and it was raw and it was like, um, you could see how much it affected him. And, and they just um, got together, Glenn Lundy and Sean Hayes. And then we had Lisa Copeland and there's been so many other people that have got so many skills and talents that just jump in and, and can um, help out. Um, and created all this 24-hour live-a-thon, never been done, and uh, they've got a guy in Australia, so thank you very much, doing half an hour episode to raise awareness. So if anyone can support me, if you know me, um, and you like what I'm trying to achieve, change the uh, the car industry for the better, and, uh, and the whole community, you know, I've started a little gimpy networking group, and, and it's just great. Um, hey Glenn, how you going mate? Uh, thanks for jumping on here and Troy Sullivan. Yeah, so we got a little referral group and, and I saw you Glenn down at, um, at Tram Cars Bakery the other day when we went down there to have our meeting. Um, yeah, we just had one uh, Thursday, every Thursday morning we have a meeting with business people and, uh, and we're just trying to, it's a referral base, so you refer other, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Okay, that's me in technology, so I might have to hold that now. Um, <laughs> okay, well that was bound to happen, folks. That's just my nice little gimbal that's just gone a bit crazy. <laughs> uh, that's me in a nutshell. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, we've got this nice little referral base going on, and um, it, it's brilliant. And what I want to achieve out of that whole thing at the end of it, we'll have enough people in the group that when things like this or, or something happens in the community, 
and uh, we can all jump in and help out. <laughs> Glenn, I don't know if that's you or if that's Michelle. You're really confusing me there, buddy. <laughs> Glenn Lundy's changed his, uh, his Facebook profile picture to Michelle, so that's, that's great. So you've got three minutes, buddy. I wish um, you could jump on here and play a bit of music for me, but if you guys want a little um, bit of inspiration, jump on Glenn Lundy and watch him. He's got the next half hour episode. <laughs> it is you, mate, I know. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and hopefully with that uh, ref referral-based business that we've started in town here, that we can do something similar. You know, if there's something wrong, you know, something goes wrong in our community that as, as a little group, we can come together and, and help the situation. We've got a, a lot of people with diverse skills. <laughs> there's hundreds of Michelles right now. I'm going to have to change my picture to Michelle. That's awesome. I love it, Chad. And, um, and, and thanks, Glenn Lundy, for uh, inviting me to be one of the guest speakers or, or to have a half an hour time slot on this um, magnificent venture to help raise awareness, shares, prayers and, and funds for Michelle to help her out, her and, and Chad and their family. You know, we wish them all the very best. <laughs> Michelle is everywhere. Guys, if you don't know Michelle, um, take my word for it. She is genuinely the, one of the nicest people you could meet. And I was fortunate enough to meet this lady and, and Chad, and they're just brilliant people. G'day, Emma. Thanks for jumping on, mate. Um, hey, Christopher Campbell. Uh, thank you, too, for, for being a part of it. Hey, buddy. And, uh, yeah, it's such a good thing to be a, a part of something like this in the auto industry. Shares, prayers and dollars. Yeah, that's right. Not doll hairs. Dollars. Shares, prayers and dollars. All right, guys, um, reach into your pockets. It's a good cause. And uh, hopefully if something happens to you, then the same can happen, you know. Like invest, invest in um, the spirit and the goodness of mankind here. Um, let's take some stress away from one person. If everyone gives a little bit, it can really help. Uh, challenge all, and Jeffrey's challenge is um, every everybody that sells cars to put five dollars for next month's sales away for each deal, and uh, and why not get your um, dealer principal there to uh, to match it, hey? Uh, thanks, Josh. Yeah, cool, buddy. I appreciate all the kind words. Well, I'm going to wrap it up now, here, guys. Thank you for watching joining in. I really appreciate it. If you've donated some money, if you haven't, you still can. Uh, there'll be links there, but everyone go to Glenn Lundy, G-L-E-N-N, Lundy, and check him out. He's, uh, you know, he's, a, he's an inspiration to many, and he's going to be on here soon. Um, there he is. He's starting now. Well, I'm going to get off here. <laughs> All right, guys. Check you later. Bye.